This airsoft rifle is just a toy, shoots plastic BBs, so don't worry, enjoy the video. Hi everyone, this is my last project, it's a knife rifle, so I'm translating this video for you in English as better as I can. So, I was telling you, this is my last project, I'm very proud of this rifle, it seems a real rifle, it's very light and very comfortable to handle it like this, it seems like a real rifle from the war. So, in this, tutorial, in this video I will show you how to build it. It's very simple, the first thing we can do is uh, regulate the pressure. It's going to 50 bars and there is a loading system for the BBs. You can shoot directly at your target. So, let's begin with the target. First thing I need is a, a tank for having the air supply for my rifle. So, I took a sparking water machine and it took out the tank. It's a 400 grams tank. The first thing I need to do is remove the safety valve. So now that I'm sure that it's empty, I can replace the top of the valve of the tank with a pressure regulator. Now I'm using a scuba tank regulator, but you can use a paintball regulator for the pressure. That takes uh, 6,000 6, psi to uh, 50 bar. Uh, the, now we have to beat the QAV valve. This is very important for an air rifle. So I glue in place a, a simple tube inside a reductor, a half inch reductor that goes inside another half inch female T. This is the result. I have to stay in the middle, perfectly, perfectly in the middle. Now I take a rubber washer. I cut a, a little one that goes on a 6 or 5 centimeters long screw, like this. Behind this washer I can place a metal washer and a nut. This nut stops everything. Now continue the process with another metal washer, a rubber band, a rubber washer, this is very important, it works like an O-ring, and being this black washer is squished between the metal ones so uh, um, more hard I put the nut the much larger becomes this o-ring because it's squished between them it, this all this this little piston I have to slide inside an uh, adapter half inch adapter like this the black uh, o-ring it doesn't have to be very 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 precise it have to leaks a little bit of air it's very important it doesn't have to be so tight when we choose this piece it's very important that we we choose it every all smooth inside without this black thing inside it's not this welding strip now we place behind the piston a small spring now we can see how the piston works it can slide back and forward inside the female T. Now I take another mm, adapter, it's always, it's always a half inch uh, adapter. Between the spring I place a metal washer that goes inside another reductor from uh, one half inch to three quarter inch and I stop it behind like this so the air can go outside from the, this little hole. Now the QEV is done, but we have to make something to activate the QEV. I take a screw and a rubber washer and go. these things go inside a um, connector for gas tubes in the kitchen. Behind this I put um, a spring and behind the spring a, a simple washer, metal washer and a nut. This is the thing that activates the air because let the air pass behind the white rubber washer. So we can screw it behind the QEV. The QEV is done. Let's see how it works. Okay, now I took a piece of wood that was in the garden and I drill a hole where the QEV has to go. So the hole is very big 
and the QEV goes all the way through it. Behind the spring that is behind the QEV, I drill two holes big enough to put inside the aluminum rod like this. You can see on the top of this aluminum rod, I glue in place a nut. This nut can go behind the spring like this, it doesn't go away. Now I took an iron nail, I drill a hole through the aluminium and the wood of the rifle that passes all the way through. So it's much easier to push it like a real rifle, like this. Now I have to choose a place where to put the tank. Here was a bit too heavy and unbalanced the, the rifle here, doesn't give problems. So I carve a, a hole for the QAV and the tank and put it in place. Behind the QAV I can screw in place a, a connector for the air compressor tubes. This white uh, tubes are for, from uh, the air compressor that I have at home, like this. The, the tank slides in place and I can stop it with mm, nylon stopper, so I'm sure it doesn't go away. We do the same thing on another side with a tube and we stop it behind the QEV. Now I have to make a uh, barrel, so I took the, um, this thing was 6 millimeters wide and it was from the um, tents of my bathroom. I put some glue and I glue in place an adapter. Let's see the loading system. On the barrel of the, of the rifle I glue in place two little tubes that was always from the, um, the tent of the bathroom. Inside these tubes go the BBs and the purple piston goes up and down, moving, I move it with the hands and this thing push the BBs inside the barrel ready to be shut out like this. Now let's see how it works. I put this, thi this thing inside and this little piece moves back and forth pushing the BBs inside the barrel. Let's screw the barrel to the QEV. Okay. As you can see now I can load the BBs inside the small tubes like this. I can load the 15 or 18 BBs. I put a rubber band that compress the BBs inside the loading system. Now I can regulate the pressure to about 50 bars. That is very very much. I never go so high. And you can see I can shoot repeatedly.